DEX data analysis expression I know I know those people who are working with data field I mean those people who are working with Excel and Power BI they are suffering a lot with DEX so if you are one of them then you have arrived into the exact place hey everyone welcome to my channel my name is Deep and in today's video we will make the DEX into super easy for all of you so let's get started from scratch so what is DEX? DEX is a library DEX is a library of functions and operators with the help of which we will able to create formulas and expressions in Power BI. Okay, so what is DEX? DEX is nothing but it's a library of functions and operators with the help of which we will create different different formulas and expression for Power BI. Okay, so what is the use of these formulas and expression and all we will see in a while. Okay so uh, basically when we exactly we use this dex so dex is basically used for three things first is for creating columns second is for creating tables and third is for creating measures in power bi or excel okay so let's see how exactly we use this dex in power bi so let me clear you first thing is that we also understood how to use power query editor but with the power query editor the amount of calculations that we can do is very limited and with dex you have a vast options of formula and functions to create calculated column majors and tables okay so let's see how exactly we use this text in power bi to create a calculated column first okay so here you can see we have already imported one table called as the orders table and this is the excel data all right and inside this orders table we have so many numbers of columns are there okay so let's see the data by clicking on this data options okay and here is the table called as order table and inside this order table we have different numbers of columns are there right and you can see one column called called as the quantity right so now suppose i want to add a column in this table and in this column i want to calculate a discount of 30 percent for anyone who placed an order for more than five quantity okay so let's see how we can do this with the help of dex okay now one thing to be noted here is that the calculations is performed based on the entry in each and every row and based on that i want to show the calculations in a different column all right now to do that go to table tools then under calculations you can see different options like new measures quick measures new column and new table we'll go through all these options one by one for now let's go with new column okay so just click on it as you can see over here a new column has been added and if you look over here it is showing the column name so I will go over here and rename this column as discount now what is the criteria for discount if order quantity is more than 5 then the discount should be 0 0.30 that is 30 percent right or else there is no discount okay so this is a logical statement so I will start with the if function now as soon as you enter the function if you can see the different arguments being listed over here 
so that is the order in which you have to enter the argument for a particular functions okay now the first argument is logical test and the logical test is based on the order quantity so just start typing column name and you can see that it is listing all the columns from all the tables which have the header which contain the word order so just go to the column header that you are looking for and press enter now let's proceed with arguments so the logical statement says that if the order quantity is greater than 5 so I have entered greater than 5 next when I insert a comma it moves to the second argument which is result if true that is if the order quantity is greater than 5 we give the discount of 0 0.30 then again a comma and it takes you to the final argument which is result if false right that is if the order quantity is not greater than 5 then the discount is 0 then close the argument and click enter ok so now you can see that the discount column contain two values that is 0 and 0 0.30 right so in this way you can add a new column with the help of tax formula in a existing table all right so now let's move to the second point and see how we can create a sub table from an existing table using dex formula okay so here you can see we have already imported one table that is orders table right so just click on the data tab here and see the data which it contain okay so just click on it and here you can see we have a column called cells right and in this column the values are present starting from 0 0.44 to 15 right but I want to create another sub table which contain all columns from this existing table but only those records or rows where cells value should be greater than 10 okay so let's see how we can do this with the help of tax formula okay now for doing that just click on the table tools options then click on new table and rename it as conditional underscore table okay then in dex we have a formula called as calculate table with the help of which we can create a new table from an existing table okay so here the dex formula is called as calculate table all right so just type calculate table and here it is so just click enter then inside the bracket we have to pass two things right first is table name from where you want to create a new table so let me write order here because we have the order table right now right and from order table we want to create another table right so let me write orders here and here it is so just click enter then give a comma okay and then write the filter called cells is greater than 10 right because this is our condition right then close the bracket and click enter now in the field sections you can see one sub table called as the conditional table has already been created so just click on it and you can see all the columns are available here as per the orders table but it contain only those records where sales value is greater than 10 right so in this way we can create a sub table from an existing table with the help of
calculate table tax function all right so let's move further and see how we can create measures with the help of dex function in power bi all right so now here you can see we have already imported one table that is called as the order table right so just click on this data sections then click on this order table so now here you can see all the data or all the columns that the order table content right uh, here one column is there called as the sales column right so or here you can see another column that is profit so suppose i want to create a measure where i want to show the total profit okay so how can i do that with the help of dex functions so for that just you have to click on this table tools okay then you have to select the new measure okay or in the other hand you can do the same thing here also let me show you go to the report sections then this is the order table right so just click on it then right click on it then create a new measure okay so just click on this new measure after that you can see a uh, this type of space okay where you can uh, write a measure all right so uh, after clicking on this new measures you can see one new measure field has been created on this orders table and here the name is measure right that's why here also it's showing measure and you can, here you can see the symbol of this uh, new measure right this is a i mean this is a calculated field right that's why here the icon is showing as a calculator right so let me rename this as total profit okay total underscore profit all right then we have a dex function called as the sum okay uh, so the use of the sum function is to uh, uh, it is generally aggregate or make the sum of the entire column of a particular table okay and the field must be a numerical one all right so let me write the sum here okay when you will write the sum it will uh, give you the options what do you want to do which dex function you want to use whether you want to use the sum or sum x or summarize right so let me select the sum all right then here you can see this is the uh, syntax of the sum functions so i want the sum of the profit column right so how can you do that so just write profit okay pro all right so here you can see this is the orders table and inside the order table we have a column called as a profit right so just select that one and click enter all right then close the bracket here and after that just click enter so when you will click on this enter button at that time the new measure will change to total profit okay so where it is here you can see the total profit measure has been created right this is the total profit where the total profit measures contain the sum of the profit column which is available in the orders table okay so now you can just create one card here in the uh, in the work area okay so just click on this card button all right and then just drag the total profit to this field section or to this card sections okay so here it will show you the total profit that has been earned till yet all right so in this way we can create new majors new columns new tables with the help of dex formula okay so here i have shown you only few numbers of dex functions right so it's only nearly about two to three dex functions right so in this way you can get so many numbers of dex functions in the microsoft side okay so uh, just go to that microsoft side and just um, check what the dex functions we have available and try to understand all those dex functions okay and not only uh, try to understand but just try to implement them in your report as well all right so this is all about dex functions okay so i hope from this video you have got a lot more information about what is dex when we basically use the dex formula and what are the advantages of dex in power bi right so see you in the next video take care bye bye